Hello everyone. Uh, this tutorial is give you a heads up how to use Excel to plot for this class. The Excel software I'm using is uh, from um, uh, downloading by using my UCI Net ID for free. So everyone has access for it. The example I'm using is actually plotting uh, by using number of hens, laying number of eggs for one day uh, from different farms. The number of hens will be uh, in x axis because it's a value that now change, but number of eggs are changing variables, variables, so you will be the y axis. So let's plot. First, we're going to choose appropriate plots which is suit for your purpose. For this one, I think the best one will be the uh, scattering, the dot one, the number, the first one. Yeah, the scatter. Here we go. Oops, I forgot how it. Hold on. Highlight it. So we're gonna put it that. All right. And after I uh, plot everything, right, I like to fix a little bit by cleaning up the lines. It's really not uh, eye friendly. Second, choose appropriate uh, title, which in chemistry should including the purpose, uh, chemical names, and the uh, units. So for right here, we can say um, observation of uh, number of A laid by different number of hands. That's pretty wordy, but at least I cover, cover every angle. So you can do a better ones since uh, most of you speak better English than I do. Uh, the third one will be label the accent, which is really important because your report is supposed to give to give to people that have never done this but understand it. So how we do that? We double click your accent. I did the X right. So you can actually have the odd chart element. This one is a really important feature, right? You can do almost everything right here. The way to mastermind the mastermind the ma mastermind it, master it is to keep playing with it, right? The number of uh, hands. And we got a number of A on our vertical. Bro. Okay, so that's pretty good for now. And for some experiment, you need to determine the slope, which is by using a trend line. See the display uh, additional information. Sometimes you have a legend whatsoever. So most of the information, like I said, you can get from right. Uh, it's not coming up. Huh. Yeah, right here. See, but for trend, you can actually do this. It's much easier. What you do is click on data, right click, add trend, and then we're gonna add uh, right here this uh, play equation, display R value, and here we go. See, right here is your slope, and right here is your r-volume. When r-volume is r-square equal to 1, means that all data is related, means that even though I made those data up myself, that is really, really good, that's 0 0.9998. For example, if we got 97 hands, right, and we're going to make them may produce a 199 eggs, just uh, for example, and you can see that our value changed dramatically. 
and even even we can, we can we make it even worse, let's say 500, then it's actually even worse, become 0 0.2. What number that was? 87? Okay, that works. So that is the way you plot in this class. And thank you very much. And uh, I hope it helps.